So both of your characters in this movie, they do some pretty terrible things, but I imagine you need to find something to connect to, and just in my personal opinion, I think there's something in both characters in that respect, so mm -hmm. is it challenging to connect to these two guys? There's a challenge with every role to, to work out what are what are the connections for you as an actor and what are what will the connections be for someone watching it. So what's the, what are the dimensions of, of the character? What are their contradictions? What are their hidden depths? Um, so that's always a challenge and that's always the thing that's actually exciting. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, it, the, the connections are... Uh, that, that represents just what we do, whether we're playing Shrek, Valentine, or any other role. Uh, one way to define acting, it's, it's not an comprehensive uh, definition, but is my job is to defend my character. My job is to be the advocate for my character's point of view, for his needs you know, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And, and, and with Shrike, uh, the path was, the, 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 the objective was clear to me, but the path there is a little less clear. There, it, that was strewn with all kinds of choices, it seems to me. Have you ever run into an issue with a villainous character where you can't connect in terms of, like I always find it to be most interesting when even though I can't root for a villain, I can understand what drives them to want to accomplish that yeah. thing. And I think that's really strong in this movie for both of these guys. Have you ever been offered a villainous role where it is kind of flat and you don't really know what's getting them there? Don't, don't take the role. Yeah, don't take the role. It's real simple. I mean, it's just a poorly written role, probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you... Yeah, I would say that that really is the, I mean, the, the, the bottom line the, answer. The, 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 it's a label. So a villain is a label. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and you, you, you know... You shouldn't... You shouldn't judge. Why, why, why do we want to judge characters? Why don't we want to understand them? Certainly an actor needs to understand the, the whys and wherefores of that person, what makes them tick, why they're doing what they want to do. And indeed, all of us should try to, should seek to understand the other rather than to judge the other, because otherwise we have no, we never learn anything in life, you know, so. Well, uh, movies, movies make this, this uh, very simplistic. They invite us to, to go, that's the hero, that's the villain, that's the hero, but it's a simplistic way of looking at life. And sure, it's, it could be, a, uh, that's what you want in entertainment, but actually, we kind of need a lot more. I feel like the labeling versus understanding idea is applicable to all areas of life, even yeah. beyond movies. Well, the actor is the one person who can't judge the character that he's playing, knowing full well you're going to be judged by everyone uh, uh, you know, else within that world and the people who are watching that world. I mean, we were aware of the function of the character, yeah. sure, and the impression mm -hmm. the character might be making or needs to make, yeah. but at the same time, we have to. And our contract, our you know, internal contract is with the people who are making the film. We trust, I'll, I'll advocate for my character as strongly and as positively as I can, knowing full well that, that his place in this world is gonna be modulated and placed by, by the director of this film, who, it's his world. 